everyone, it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. Hope you're all well and enjoying your start to the week. Another week, another day, another dollar as they say. <laughs> or another pound even. Anyway, right. Today I thought I'd do something slightly different. So you've probably seen I've been doing lots of arts and crafts aside of the diamond painting on the canvases. So this morning I thought I would do a whip and chat with this cute little llama that I've been desperately trying to get around to doing so I thought I would do a whip and chat and hopefully I will complete this by the end of the video and then you can see the end result because it's always fun to watch um, someone work right through from beginning to end isn't it so for this little llama, I'm not even going to bother to kit up, to be honest with you, because it's only a small um, little llama. It's only one-sided, so it's good to go. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so with these sorts of projects, I tend to start with the larger rhinestones first, the larger special shapes even. There's our string for the end of it. And then I work my down to the smaller ones, just because then, for some reason, I can always see the um, the smaller shapes better when I've got done the larger shapes. I don't know why, it's just me. So, I am going to start off with my specials. So, this is the specials over here. This is one that I've already seen completed and I just fell in love with it, guys. I really did. I thought, oh, I have to have that. You know, one of those. So I'm just trying to see. We're going um, alphabetical order. So we'll start with A first. So, yeah, I don't see the point in kitting up something as small as this, really, because it'll only take you... Perhaps maybe a day to do. Is it worth to kit up for a project that only takes a day? I don't know. Right, so it's these gorgeous, gorgeous little uh, marquee diamond shaped gold. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Look at those guys. I've changed my camera today. I've got a different, I've got my old, one of my old phones I'm using because. What happened was my son dropped my new phone that I had that I've been recording every video on for YouTube and I just thought you know what I've just had enough of it anyway so yeah it was part of an upgrade deal and yeah it didn't work according to plan right so these are I'm gonna keep this here a I'm working on so I'm just trying to see where A is this one I'm just going to take this all off completely guys to be honest with you because yes I've touched the adhesive I have got clean hands I've washed my hands prior to this I had no choice because Rio had a bath so yeah okay so let's get started with our A's this is my favourite diamond painting pen I use because it has um, a light. I'm sticking to it, guys. It has a light in the actual tip of the pen. I hope you guys can see okay. Just sort of messing this up this morning, I guess. It's a Monday thing. Yeah, so how are you all? I hope you've all had a brilliant start to the week and had a lovely restful weekend. <clears throat> I'm expecting a phone call from my daughter's school any minute now, to be fair, because I think that she's going to get sent home sick from school because she was very coffee and sneezy this morning lots of stuff going on with her and I was just like mm. 
you know when you're in one of two minds whether or not to send them so I just sent her anyway with a bit of cow pole in her system problem is it makes them feel okay temporarily and then before you know it yeah it wears off and they're not so okay I'm just gonna bring you down slightly so you can see a bit better what I'm doing I thought I'd do a whip and chat because I haven't had done one for ages so <clears throat> I've got a bit of a something going on with my throat myself to be fair In my happy place this morning diamond painting a lovely cute llama or is it an alpaca i don't know to me they're the same <laughs> yeah so yesterday i spent the day tidying up my living room getting ready for the tree so i promised my youngest daughter that i would get the tree out today while they're at school so then they can decorate it after school today. I just didn't have the energy yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me, really. I just, you know, when you just feel like, oh, it's a winter, I think. It makes you feel like really tired and sluggish, doesn't it? Plus, I've got a humongous backlog of washing. So, you know, all the fun jobs of being a mum. That's why I was desperate to get round to this. Beautiful llama, because it's my happy place, guys. And it's probably your happy place too, I'd imagine. Okay, so... From what I can see, I think we've done all the A's there. Yeah, unless my eyes are deceiving me. Yeah. So let me go and get some baggies to put this in. It's very easy, <coughs> pardon me, to do a quick project like this. Just trying to. It's my collection of bags that I've collected. Look at how many are in there, guys. <laughs> Every time I get bags in a kit, I just chuck them in this. Uh, little bag and then I just put my drills in these and the spare ones keep them for um, a rainy day just having a look here something doesn't look right by this I don't think is that an A let me just take this off and see if that is definitely an A it is an A because it, it, it wasn't matching up because this is a B. So let me put this back over there. Press it down. Just wanted to double check that, guys. Just putting these drills, changing them over. There you go. I do like the marquees, they're just the diamond shape. They're just so beautiful, aren't they? So, right, there's that one. Let's move on to B. Where is B, 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 B? Here it is. Oh, these are a gorgeous baby pink, these ones. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those. 
gorgeous baby pink colour. So these are bees now. beautiful this has to be a girl doesn't it to have baby pink diamonds on it I've got lots of family requesting my um, my beautiful fridge magnets that I done the Christmas ones that I done the other day. There we go. So you won't see much of Rio in this video because, as I said, she's had a little bath so. <clears throat> She's quite content at the moment. She's had a bath. She's had some food. She's had a little fly. So she's probably going to have a little siesta now. Which is good for me. Especially with Ave Maria. That tends to send her to sleep as well. Bless her. She's got her own little routine going on. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Any more bees anywhere else that I've missed? Ah, just here. There we go. Gorgeous. Yeah, I fell in love with this llama. I really have. I do love these. I, I am an animal lover anyway, so it doesn't take a lot for me to fall in love with... Uh, we're getting lots of leftovers as well, which is good. So in case you want to keep any leftovers for any other additional products. Products? Projects. It's a Monday. It's definitely Monday for me. I overslept this morning once again, didn't want to get up, but I did, and now they're all, all the kiddies are where they should be, praise the Lord. You'll notice that I've also changed my tablecloth, guys, in preparation for Christmas, why not? Although I think this one has seen its day, this tablecloth, so I'm thinking I might have to get a new one. Right, let's move on to C, which is also a marquee. Let me use this tray for that. Oh, pardon me. One thing I have forgotten to get is my vanilla latte. So I might have to pause this video in a minute to go and get my vanilla latte. Let me just tell you up so you can see all of my little llama oh, it's just so cute isn't it so these ones there's a drill over there that i've missed yeah. these ones are just like um got a touch of a b to them as well absolutely beautiful okay so this is c Yeah, my daughter went to a birthday party on the weekend and unfortunately quite a few of them have come down with this um, this cough and cold sort of symptoms. 
It's a bit like croup actually, because she sounded really croupy this morning. But you know, I hate to say it, but my daughter, my youngest one especially, she's a bit of a drama queen. Amateur dramatics is uh, quite common in my house. So I do always like to try and send them to school. Oh, because, you know, in life we all get sick and we can't all just not do anything when we get a little cold and cough. So, yeah, but we shall see. We'll see what she's like. These are just beautiful, aren't they, guys? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm certainly noticing my uh, <clears throat> my deliveries are taking slightly longer than what they used to, especially from uh, overseas, so places like China. But, you know, at this time of year, I think you've got to expect that, haven't you, really? Because everyone's buying everything for Christmas. I haven't even started yet. I'm always a bit of a lastminute.com sort of person. But I always get it together on the big day, you know. It's, it's just how... <coughs> Pardon me. I have got something going on myself, I think, here. Yeah, it's just how I roll. <laughs> how I get through it. There we go. I think that's all our C's done now. Yep. Yeah. Get another baggie out for this. <coughs> I think it's this time of year as well. There's all lots of coughs and colds going around. And the problem is, is because of COVID, everyone sneezes or coughs. They think, ah, COVID, straight away. Um, when nine times out of ten, it's, it's probably not COVID. It's just a cough and cold. Right, so we're moving on to D. Do like I do have a passion for these uh, special shapes. I think they're just beautiful. So D is this beautiful pearl teardrop. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Look at those. Stunning. So let's get started on D. Okay. 
Oh, I can just see we've missed a C. Never mind, we got it over there. is done Just get a C there we go beautiful so I think that's all our D's guys yeah okay Let's get another baggie out for that. Although, I think I'm going to do my own pattern here because, you know, there's plenty of space here for more. So I'm just going to carry on the pattern. Why not? We've got the extras, we've got the leftovers. You can always customise your little projects, you know. And if you've got spares, why not? Might be a bit squished up. Let's just move them. Long slightly. Whoops, just drop one. I'll pick that up in a minute. Still, we got some leftovers, which is good. Right, last special shape now is the blue teardrops. Gorgeous, gorgeous baby blue. So relaxing, isn't it? Diamond painting. 
you know i really do enjoy it but i have to be quite strict with myself as well because otherwise i could end up sitting here all day long and nothing else would get done and uh yeah but life is so busy that for me this is the only time that I manage to grab some relaxation time it's when they're at school like most mums I guess yeah so there's our F's done Just checking my minutes now. I'm on 26 minutes. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete around here. Because I've done all my special shapes now. And then pause it and then let my fingers do the magic, so to speak. And then show you the end result. So, because otherwise the video will go on way too long. And, right, so what should we work on now? Should we work on number one? the video and grab myself a cup of coffee guys i'll be back in one second and i'm back <laughs> with my coffee my much needed cafe latte vanilla flavor yum yum <laughs> my favorite right so what i've done is i've put them all in little trays labeled one to seven yeah one seven and then put you down like so i'm gonna do this little bit here so i don't want the video to be too long well, now rio's woken up especially and i will do around this section and then the rest i will complete off camera and then i will insert at the end of this video the finished product so let's start with number one okay which is black one I tend to not worry about too much if they're not um, perfect on the guide circles because I will sort that out at the end once it's completed. You just want to get them down at the moment. It's difficult to do this um, whilst filming as well there we go i tend to always do every other dot when i'm diamond painting on one of these i'm not a fan of multi places at all did try and use one last night actually on one of my diamond paintings and it it didn't go well guys in the end I just gave up so and went back to just placing them individually like this I just find I have more control over the drill than on a multi-placer I spend more time when I'm using a multi-placer um 
straightening them and sorting them out than I do actually diamond painting. So I find it takes longer for me personally with a multi-placer. You know, we all have our own different ways of diamond painting, don't we? So there we go. I think that's all the ones around this particular area. So I'm going to move on to number two, which is this gorgeous AB yellows, guys. Look at those. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful ABs. I love ABs. So they go around here. Try not to get attached to the adhesive. have to say the adhesive on these are absolutely beautiful nice thick layer of glue poured glue so yeah which is what we like isn't it I do seal all my little projects as well, even my fridge magnets I seal. I felt quite ill yesterday. I think I was just feeling really overwhelmed and run down. We all have those days, don't we? I'm feeling a lot better now. Diamond painting always makes you feel a bit better anyway. I think it is my favourite hobby ever. I've never felt so passionate about a hobby as I do about diamond painting. I actually sleep dreaming about diamond paintings. It's crazy. It's very, very, very beautiful craft, I think. There we go. Oh, missed one. There we go, there's our number twos. Number three is this gorgeous AB blue, light blue as well. Beautiful. something something of fluff there I think maybe a Rio feather perhaps I don't know well it could be part of the drill actually it looks like it could be okay oh look at that I've spilt some see it happens, doesn't it? You can just pick them up. It's no big deal on a little project like this anyway. If there was some the same number or colour, if there was number threes around there, I'd just push it into it, to be fair. But there isn't. They're all fives and sixes around the llama. So we will just be extra careful to hold our tray in a better position there we go
Yeah, I just think when I'm diamond painting, I can be more precise with my drills with a multi-placer. Um, without a multi, sorry, with a single placer. Because a multi-placer, I feel I don't have too much control over the individual drills and I spend most of the time straightening and not actually diamond painting so yeah although I did use it quite a bit on my last supper the multi placer but yeah I think towards the end of it I just went back to placing them individually There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so that's number three. And then we have our number fours. Which is a gorgeous pink AB, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Can you see that? I'm trying to see where the camera is there. They are just truly beautiful aren't they so what shall I name this llama this alpaca llama whatever it is I don't know it's got to have a name hasn't it because it's so beautiful I have to get my youngest daughter to think of a name for this beautiful animal whoops always name everything guys even my hoover has a name guess what she's called Dysonia <laughs> Dyson get it Dysonia <laughs> always name things I'm terrible I'm like oh no Dysonia's playing up again oh dear I don't know I've always done that ever since I don't know I just find it's fun to name things Is it just me, perhaps? Or does everyone do it? You can comment down below if you name your household appliances as well, guys. Mind you, Dysonia at the moment, she is kind of like nearly giving up on life, I think. Having to clean up parrot feathers and um and the uh <laughs> the dog hair it's not fun is it bless her anyway right there we go so i've done this little section now so i am going to move on i'm going to turn the camera off and finish the rest and then i will insert the clip at the end of the finished product okay and poof with the magic of editing or whatever it is or the magic hands it's finito so you will be able to hear Rio because she's always got to make her presence known so yeah really pleased with how it came out it's so so cute still haven't thought of a name for her yet I'm just going to put her under here and then zoom you up there we go no that's not a good shot i think i'm gonna have to hold you guys yeah so overall really happy with how this this went it's just beautiful the sun is coming in so it's all nice and sparkly as well so it will be going up on the wall at some point so yeah really pleased with that little cute llama I'm just trying to see if I can... I don't feel like I'm showing the best of it, guys. Maybe if I stand in the sun a bit. Uh-huh, there we go. That's better, sort of. Anyway, so yeah, you can see all the special shapes in the middle. 
And yeah, you know, I tried to follow the guidelines as best as I could. I'm not overly keen on this um, tie, though. I probably will change it, you know, but that's something that's a personal preference. Overall, though, it only took me a couple of hours to complete. And yeah, it's just cute, isn't it? I still haven't thought of a name for her, though. So this is the amount of drills left over. So I think I had literally spares of every single drill that I had in this pack, which is good. Um, just definitely worth noting these ABs, you know, there's plenty of ABs in this pack. In fact, you know, it was a generous amount overall. Sorry guys, there we go, overall. And I'm just really pleased with it. It's going to go on the bedroom wall this evening. And I'm sure my girls will enjoy it. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. It's been sealed. I've just sealed it with my uh, Mod Podge spray that I use. This one. And literally, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Or on the spray even. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. It is slightly something different. There, the sun's out again. It's very sparkly, very sparkly. It is something different. I thought I'd try this whip and chat and then completion at the end for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video. If not, then I don't know. <laughs> I'm sincerely sorry. Anyway, on that note, I hope you enjoy the rest of your, um, I nearly said Saturday then, the rest of your Monday. And I hope you have a blessed and wonderful evening with your family. Okay, take care and God bless. Bye.